Welcome back to B D D D E, where we like to waste money and have fun. Uh, so, just finished watching the box breaks done by Pub Daddy, and I got no legendary, so I'm quite disappointed. Um, so what I've decided to do is open more uprising. It's just how it is, guys. It's just how it is. We're going to go for a fourth Fable, you know. That way I can have more Fables. Two Cold Foil Fables isn't enough. Um, so we want more. Or at least some, uh, you know, Majestic Dragons and all that kind of good stuff. Spam empty box. So, um been having some fun with the drinks. Uh, one thing I did do, uh, since the last box, I did look up the rules for the tempo. Um, and I keep skipping over an important part, wording of it. It says, you can play it until your next, end of your next turn. So, while you don't have go again for it to do anything, you actually get to sit there and hold it in a banish zone until the start of your until the end of your next turn so you can potentially have an extra uh, card up your sleeve for that next turn um that's what i kept missing on that i had to look it up to just you know without the card in front of me so i could see what it is billowing mirage um yeah so Turns out, it's not so bad. It's a nice end of turn play, so you can uh, keep some tempo going for the next turn. Because I'm just too stupid to read cards. Clearly, I'm just an idiot who likes to open boxes. Um, and I'm sure many people say that, and I and they're absolutely right. Um, can't even read cards, but I have fun with it, so that's all right. Journey by reading and rereading. Do I actually learn how this game actually works when I play those new cards? It's because I'm pretty... Oh, three reds. It's interesting. Get rid of that. Dampen. Maybe it's just more interesting because I've been drinking. Um, centipede. Nothing in the back. So, um, yeah. Gonna open one more case. Uh, so I've got the boxes behind me. So once that's done... Probably stop uprising for sure, and we'll do at least a Neverfest box case, whatever. I don't know. Who knows? If I get lots of um, people wanting me to move on, I might just do this one box and move along. Move along. Uh, what reminds me? 300 subscriber giveaway. Click the link in the description below. Go comment on that, and you've entered. And subscribe, of course. And you've entered into this potential to get a box paid for by myself uh weather vane um yeah happy to do that i'll send it to you or if it's more convenient i'll just pay for it at the store and you, uh, you guys if they if i can and you go pick it up there or whatever i'm sure we'll work it out whatever's easiest combustion point looks nice uh it's just not as strong as other things Killing bomb, it's boring. Double Phoenix. It's a f yes, I want those big M dragons before I start spending my money on them. Uh, spend the money this way and get cut and get lots and lots of bulk. Uh, sweeping uh, blow. Oh, excuse me. It's a Saturday night, I'm recording this. So that's why I like to drink. Main day that I like to drink. Uh, so, obviously, I have uh, I actually watched Rudy's um, openings of these uh, two boxes. And I'm like, come oh, man, just look at the back. Look at the back. They're, the cold foils are hiding in the back, bro. Everyone in these comments are giving him shit about it. So, you know. Um... And that's the downside, uh, when someone doesn't uh, pay attention to every product that comes out. Um, but, and, you know, like he's got lots of things to do. He doesn't have time to know everything, I guess. But, 
I found it funny. Uh, it'd be funny if it's just one massive troll, but... <laughs> it's not like him to ever fucking troll people. Yeah, so I was fucking... Uh, Thomas Centipede in red foily. Where's that spice gone, ladies and gentlemen? More spice in my beer than it is in fucking this. But that's because it's an IPA. It's an Indian Pale Ale. Ugh, look at that. Legendary. I'd say I'm really happy about it, but... Meh. I've, this is now... A third. I've got two Rainbow Falls and a Cold Fall. Oh, what reminds me. I haven't showed you guys. Let's finish that out. Let's see if we got a double Legendary. Did not. So we got a legendary. That's good. Okay. So, uh, in the previous gamblings, I actually got three. Uh, three L's. So, I bought the draconic slots. I only bought one ninja slot, but that one ninja slot gave me the cold foil. Look how good that looks. The blood. Yeah, I'll take it out of the case for you guys. I love you guys. Love you guys. So I'll take it out of the case. Have a look at those. That blood there. It's, you can see the blood is foiled as well. And just looks great. Great looking card and cold for. But, uh, so that came out of one of the two cases that he opened that night. And I had that on the ninja slot. Um, I ha This came out of one case from him. Got in both the Rainbow Fall and the Cold Fall. So I was pretty happy with that. It's a nice haul. Um, because I like to luck my stuff into me rather than buying it. It is my preference. But, you know, we got a bit of spice. We got some... It's the only downside is a lot of these uh, legendaries aren't really uh, holding value. They're just plummeting down to the earth, and it's kind of stuck the flames, regular foil. I uh, kind of a little sad, really, uh, is what I see it as. Uh, uh, because it's like legendaries normally they're holding like 150, somewhere, somewhere between 200 and a um, uh, hundred odd dollars on average uh, for things that are playable. Spreading Flames from Majestic, Mounting Anger. And, yeah, um, these legendaries are just popping down so fast. There's so much the product's opened. And people don't want to buy endless legendaries because people like me, I'm on... Well, be like me, I'm only opening five cases of this stuff compared to what I normally would open. Um, and it's just because, you know, I've got the itch at the moment. Fog down... Uh, we have, obviously, the ice. And it's uh, a little sad to see the price is plummeting so hard. Um, but everyone's trying to make quick money by opening it and flipping it. I'm not trying to flip it. I'm trying to collect it. It makes it easier to buy it afterwards. But it makes it feel not as good. Because when you hit something big like a legendary, I'm meant to be more excited. But, uh... Sadly, I'm just not as excited by a legendary because people are chasing, well, uh, even like me. Um, so yeah, a little sad. Find it. What do you guys think? Do you reckon that it's, uh, or every card should be a dollar, or do you think cards should actually have value and that they should be a little more rare and a little more special? I understand other people have different opinions, but I also understand other people are wrong. So, you know. Uh, anger, Shift, and Transmogrify. And this could be a pretty, uh, we're getting almost the end, no cold force yet. It's meant to be a fable, that one, not a legendary, though. Uh, Permafrost, Dragon, Breaking point looks pretty cool in red. Lots of flame. Still nothing. A big M dragon would make me a pretty happy man right now. 
You can take that however you like. With Gigadis. Ooh, and we have a foil vip box. Not bad. Pretty happy with that. I think I've already got two or three of them, but... Generics are always loved in foil. Because whether they're useful now or not, they often find a way back later on in certain decks. Nothing. So we've got our rainbow foils. A good rainbow foil, so we're just looking for some cult foil. But I have a feeling we're just going to get hosed on the cult foilings and get just uh, some flippers. Phoenix. Whew. I'm not, uh, I'm not even going to get a cold foil or not. Whew. Ooh, I should get have another drink. Ah. Uh. Mm. Ah, regular Vivex. I find I get quite often them next, uh, very near each other. Not ne always next to each other, but within a few packs. Oh, we got our Crack Bobble. Fuck yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Crack Bobble. Alright, I'm being facetious. But it's fun. <laughs> it's fun being a facetious ass. Heat wave. Running again. Still no call for. We have two packs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Will this be my first non cold for a box? Flex. Regular rewind. Read the ripples. Back to back. Nothing. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm fucking nervous, guys. It's either going to be last pack magic, or it's going to be uh, no coal foils for us today. Sigil of the Frost. It's uh, fucking Connor. I keep changing the names. Fucking Ice Bind. Cold file. It's gold. <laughs> so what we got. Hey, we have a legendary I don't have in cold foil. Um, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you a little bit of fact. The remainder of this case, this is actually doing me three of the boxes that I've already opened one of the boxes in this. I've replaced it with another box, so to be fair, I'll be opening that one last. It's nice for the collection. I don't, I don't think it's going to be that valuable, but it's great for the collection. Um, I actually had opened in the other box, I mentioned in another video, that I got the rainbow foil in the same case. So, same case, again, has both of these together. If you guys see that, or have that, when you get a cold foil and a legendary in the same one. So, technically, this case would be th is already a three legendary case, but we'll be opening it a bit different. Um, so, I'm uh, pretty happy with that, uh, as the last pull, last pack, magic for the win, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about whether cards should have value or should not have value. Um, I might come up with a coherent conversation for next time, uh, but I was just under the influence of alcohol today, guys. It's always nice to have a drink. Um... And the other one is whether or not you are finding that you are getting uh, the legendaries, a cold foil legendary and a rainbow in the same box, in the same cases, as a fairly regular thing. Like, you don't get one cold foil legendary and then another uh, totally different um, thing all the time. Because I've seen it a, f a, few, a few times, and I'm just making sure I'm not dumb and drunk. Alright, quick last review We're at the 14 minute mark, I just noticed, so uh, time in review. We have a rewind, the box, the X foil, fog down, spreading flames, combustion point, liquefy, we have whatever the fuck that's called, 
the wizard uh, chest equipment in cold for oh it actually looks a lot better than I thought it did when I first looked at it let's have another look up close those ruins Oh, cold for the magic glint and his robe it's nice purplish colors in cold for it's actually a lot more beautiful than I thought crack bubble of course and we got our other legendary, a Rainbow Fall Tiger Stripe. Um, so we've got a nice shredder piece there. Alright, so this was a pretty good box though, huh? <laughs> After getting nothing from Kyle's box breaks. Thank you again, Mr. Pub Daddy, for getting me nothing. Um, so yeah, that's about it for me. Uh, I'm going to wrap this video up now and I'm going to go to finish my beer. Get ready for bed. Alright, you guys. Take care and we'll catch you all next time.